Hey guys and welcome back, welcome back to Dylan's Little Hobbies. And in today's video, I am going to be putting this together. Uh, yes, the Lego Darth Vader head. This is going to be fun. You know, I really haven't played with Legos or put anything together that's Lego since I was about, I want to say, 14. Uh, so, this will be the first time. And it's Star Fair. I really love Star Wars. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might get into a couple of these. There's a couple of really cool ones they have out that, uh, I kind of wanted to buy. My dad actually was at the store and saw this and, uh, uh called me and asked me if I'd be interested in it. And I said, yeah. So, uh, this is a present to me from my dad, so... Shout out to my dad, thank you. Um, and in today's video, I'll probably like take small clips of me putting it together for this video. And this will be my first Star Wars Lego project. My first Lego project in ever since I was uh, about 14. So this will be fun. Let's go ahead and put this together, shall we? Okay, let's do it, shall we? Now I'm going to try to keep this box really nice because of actually what's on the box. It's actually pretty insanely cool, but uh, I do want to open it and put it together. So, there we go. Okay. There's a while I go. Of course, we have the directions book. Kind of, it's kind of bent. That kind of sucks. I kind of don't like the fact that the Lego book is bent. That kind of sucks. Okay. And then that's everything out of the box. Check this out. So I also made this, um, a short about this, but check it out. It says Darth Vader everywhere else, but on top of the box, it says Dark Vador. It's a misprint. That's why I want to keep that box real nice. Okay. So. What I'm gathering should be five bags. Bag one. I like the fact that uh, it's in bag one, bag two, bag three, and it really tells you how and where to put things together. So we're obviously going to start with bag one. That's going to bother me that this book ended up being bent. It really is. Pieces here, as you can see from bag one. You also have this second bag here. That I'm going to toss into a pile. Right over here. Try to keep 
the pile separate. All right, so now I'm just gonna start putting this together. Seems like we'll need one of these. And we'll need one of these. Okay. So obviously this is going to take quite a while. Um, so I'm going to cut here and I'll cut back when I have some of this put together. Well, this is what I got so far. Follow the directions and hope that I'm correct with that. If not, I'll just have to take it apart. Okay, so we got these two. And we need here. So they're going to be just in the middle. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing with this, right? Maybe if I fix the camera a bit. In the middle, and then goes right down the middle, like here. But that doesn't make sense because this should be in the middle. So messed up somewhere. So I think I figured it out. So this piece right here. It either hangs out like this, or it hangs in, but if it hangs in, then this doesn't move. So, I think I got it correctly. Unfortunately, there are no words to this thing. It's all just pictures, which I am a visual person, but sometimes some words does help. So, but uh, so far, this is pretty successful, and I'm having fun doing it. Alright, and this is where I've gotten so far. I've gotten part two as well. I did make one mistake because I had this like right here and apparently they don't want you to do that yet. So, but uh, other than that one little tiny mistake, I think I'm gonna be doing all right. And now it wants me to do something kind of weird. Wants me to put this over this. Like so, I guess, screw it down. The weird part that I don't understand, I mean it looks really awesome, but they want me to put this through here into here. I don't understand why. I mean, is this, I guess, to hold something up later on that comes. Okay, so it took me four days. This is day three. Um, I could obviously do this whole project in a day, but I had other stuff to do, and it took me three days to get to that point. Um, oh boy. Uh, and that, that right there is bag two, and of course now I'm putting together bag three right there. Um, you, you can see that piece on top right there. Uh, that is bag three. Bag three is on top of everything now. And I mean, it looks pretty darn cool. It, it's coming together. It's coming together. But uh, yeah, we got a lot more we have to do, obviously. Um, but it looks really kind of cool. Looks really kind of cool. What's interesting though, is looks like looks like Vader has a hole in his head, guys. I'm assuming that's to hold the helmet up at some point. I don't know, but looks like Vader has a hole in his helmet. Yeah, you you think uh you think uh, Anakin Skywalker is just a lava monster? No, he's just a Lego guy with a hole in the back of his head. Um, 
And obviously that piece hanging out, I think it's a counterweight, but it's obviously going to... I think it's going to hold up like half of the helmet. Uh, I think it's like a counterweight um, thing for the helmet, because the helmet's going to be probably heavy on top of this. So, but uh, it's interesting that he has a hole in his head. He has a hole in his head. Guys, he has a hole in his head. Vader has a... Anakin has a hole in the back of his head to hold up his helmet. That That's right. That's right. He's not a melted man underneath the helmet. He's just... He's in a pile of Legos now. What's really also interesting is um, how the eyes work. You know? They kind of just connect to this little green stick in the back and they kind of move and everything. Obviously they won't when the whole thing is together, but I found that really interesting how that came together. Um, Personally, I think this whole project is far more complicated than it had to be. Like, th there had to be a way you could simplify this project, but I, I guess they wanted to go all out and make this the most complicated thing on Earth. I think there's a lot of uh, uh, um, simplification you could do to the entire build and still make it look fantastic. With that said, I'm having fun putting it together. It's taken me time. It's taken me a couple days. Uh, it took me five or six days um, to put the whole thing together, I think. Uh, this is day three here. I think it's going to take me three more days to finish it. But it's coming together in the eyes. The eyes are really interesting how that goes together. Alright, so here I am opening up a another bag. Bag four. Bag four. You guys want to see a uh, super cool trick? I'm opening bag four here. Just, just watch this. This is the power of A. You see all these Lego pieces and everything. I'm, I'm opening up all the bags. Watch this. Watch this. And just like that. Oh boy, I got all these Lego pieces, and come on, there we go, just like that, just like that, they are together, guys, just like that, they are together, that's bag four, that's bag four, literally that, those two pieces right there, which let me tell you, those two pieces were the biggest pain in the neck on this entire project, because what they want you to do is, uh, that's the top of the helmet. They want you to put that into the top of the helmet, and the way this works, um, it obviously has to be kind of square to go together, and it took me actually, I had to cut a couple of times on this video because um, it took me just so long to get the pieces to match up properly to go down so it would work together, because it took me forever to put this together. Um, just this part, just the top of the helmet and the side and the back side here, just mostly the top of the helmet would not go down square at all. So it took me forever. I mean, I knew what I was doing, but just it, it took a lot of figuring around to uh, finally get it in place. The same thing with uh, the back side here, but there's the finished product right there. Obviously, I have the rest of the helmet to do, but, uh, yeah, the top and the back, I'm si I'm not even kidding. The top and the back of this guy was the absolutely hardest part on this whole, uh, on this entire build. Uh, just the top and the back, and now I've even done the front. The front, the front went together really easily, it's just the top and the back, because you had to put square together and they just didn't want to line up. None of the Legos wanted to line up there. So it, it was uh, it's pretty tricky, pretty tricky uh, to do it the way that they want you to do it. Which I followed all of the directions on this thing. I, I did. Um, and I think it's coming out pretty good. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, here I am opening bag five, which bag five is obviously the side and uh, the back side of the helmet. Uh, back side, I mean, the uh, where it comes, where it folds out. So, 
I had a lot of fun playing this together. I really did. It's just... It's just... It takes so long. It, it, I honestly thought I could do this within two days. And it, it, it took... At this point now, I literally was working on this thing. Uh, this is day, like, I think five. Or six. Because it took me six days. It took me almost a week to put this together. Mostly because, again, I had other stuff to do, obviously. But, uh... No, this took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, and I really like the mechanic that they came up with for the side of the helmet here as well. Because it it, it literally just kind of bends out there. They have uh, uh, this piece that just connects to these hands. And you obviously can't see it because um, the Lego's over it. It looks so good. It looks so good. And it, it, it was put together so incredibly well. You can see, even on the back here, those little white hands actually are going to connect to these fingers that is actually on uh, um, the Lego. And uh, uh, on this like little pipe on the Lego. And when you push it in correctly, when you push it in correctly, uh, it connects and it just holds it in place basically. And I love, I love the design of uh, this. And this is a little bit more of a design than uh, they had when I was 14. I'm just going to say that. And there we go. Yep. Yep. Um, I can fix that. <laughs> I can fix that. <laughs> I, literally, I was almost done with this Vader head. And it fell on me. It fell on me. Um, <laughs> but I told you I could fix it. It's still a little wobbly. It's still a little wobbly. But the reason why it's wobbly is my fault because there's a piece that um, I can't put in it at all. But uh, it is what it is. Alright guys, so that is the Darth Vader helmet and I think it turned out pretty darn well. Let me know down in the comments below what uh, you guys think of the Darth Vader helmet. I absolutely love the look of this thing. It is a little wobbly and the only reason why is my fault. There is this piece that's supposed to go um, uh, in it and uh, it's like at step like three, right? It's like at step, um, uh, well bag three. It's like step maybe 120 or something like that, but it, it's like uh, during bag three, there's this little piece that you're supposed to put in, and nothing, nothing was lining up. Nothing at all. And I, I did, I took it apart, and uh, I redid it, and that's why it took me a couple days, because I had to actually take it apart a couple times and put it back together. And uh, I'm apparently insane, because it isn't the uh, um, phrase, uh, the... Uh, definition of insanity is doing something over and over again expecting a different result because um I, I i pretty much just ended up doing the exact same thing uh following the directions hoping for the for a different result the piece that was supposed to go in there and hold the helmet up together um it was never going to line up with that hole it, it never lined up so uh, I kind of had to say, screw it, <laughs> you know, and that's why the Darth Vader helmet fell. I fixed it, I put it back on there, it looks fantastic, but I will say this, um, I will never, ever, ever knock it over. I, I, I won't even put my hands near it now, because if I do, it doesn't hold, it's not, um, solid, so... The head just wants to fall back. Um, it, it's together when I leave it alone, but if I if I put my hand anywhere near it, it's just gonna fall off, and uh, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Besides that small issue that's on me, it came out together. It came out looking fantastic. I absolutely love it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And uh, I'm sorry that this video is a little long, but obviously I had a lot to talk about. This was a big kind of build for me. So, uh, yeah, and I think in the future I probably will probably get a couple different uh, Star Wars 
Lego sets. Mostly, probably something to do with Darth Vader, because I love Darth Vader. Um, and put them together for you guys in these type of videos. So, if you guys want more of this kind of stuff, let me know down in the comments below. And with that said, I'm out. Bye.